Now, our preaching is not in vain. If Christ was resurrected, which means to say that if he was resurrected, if he was brought back to life, we died with him and we were also resurrected with him. The Bible says that in Christ you have risen. Resurrection is a powerful thing and as we go into it, resurrection has to come into your life, resurrection has to come into your finances, resurrection has to come into your material things. There is glory in the power of God and I'm not a Bible basher, I'm not here to, 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 to bash you with a Bible and say yes you have to take this, yes you have to take this, no. I'm here to tell you that in this month of February so much is going to happen. It's a short month but so much is going to happen, especially within the war, especially within the fact that the UK believes that they have something to prove. I said that the UK would be dragged into a war, but Charles, King Charles, believes that he has something to prove. Now, I checked in the spirit, okay, and there is a sympathy, sympathy vault, the propaganda. I don't see no cancer. I'm sorry, I'll be the first to say it. I'll be the first to say it and I stand by it because I heard it in the Spirit and the Spirit of God told me that this is a propaganda tool. So we need to understand that the war is going to be fought via social media, via the media. The war is not going to be fought face to face, yes there are going to be things that take place, but the narrative, the main narrative that is controlled is going to dictate what people believe, what people understand, and this narrative has to be controlled by the Holy Spirit, not by what people want in elections, it's being used, it's being compromised, it's been, it's been bent, it's been twisted. Now you need to understand that um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I said that I knew that King Charles would go into war because he believes that he has something to prove. He believes that he has something to, 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 to show the strength of the UK. Now, I am here to tell you that the Holy Spirit is saying to me that we need to pray for the UK. We need to pray for its economy. We need to pray for the people of the UK. Because within this month, God will reveal himself and his wrath. I don't want to be a prophet of doom. I'm not here to just bring you bad news. But whatever the Lord says to say, I will say. I've been praying, asking him, have patience, do not do this, take time. But he said that the life of innocent people must be protected. So I am here to prophesy that the wrath of God will come back onto the UK. And the UK will find itself in a situation where it is focusing. They're destroying Harry right now, but Harry is going to be king. Mark my words. Harry's going to be king. And so much is going on in this country right now that we are oblivion to people dying. We are oblivion to, 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 to we are nonchalant. We, 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 it's not affecting us, but there will come a time when 
tents will roll on our streets. There will come a time when the war will be at our front door. I prophesy this in the honesty of the Holy Spirit. I know that God will back these words because I've spoken them in his behalf. Let's pray for the UK. Let's pray for the UK. Let's pray for the UK. Again, I say it, let's pray for the UK because the UK is using propaganda, twisting so many things in order, okay? Labour will come in, but Labour will go out. Four years Labour will have, and then they'll go back to the Conservatives. I've prophesied, please listen and put into action. I love you with the love of God. Stay favoured.